In this lecture, we will see how we can use uh, this card and multi row card um, uh, your visualizations in Power BI. So sometimes we require to display one value um, in a card. So we will see how we can use that and how we can use the multi row card as well. So I will open my Power BI uh, desktop and uh, I will open the last uh, um, uh, report that we created so this is the report and in this report we are going to add one more page and we will see how we can use the card and the multi row card so once it is loaded i will click on uh, uh, let me just okay so now you can see i'll click on add page you can see here and we uh, added one more page here now on this basically i will first add a uh, card here you can see this is the card that I have added and uh, then we will see uh, the field what is the field that we wanted to see here for example I want to see the total price so you can see here in this case uh, 1785 is the total price that it is coming if you want to see total then I can just go here and rename it I will say total price and uh, now you can see here it is co coming as total price if you want to reduce the size you can see here uh, it can be like this um, if you want to also format it you can go to this format icon and then you can uh, uh, give the change the color for example in this case let's say i want to make like this and uh, then the pixel you can see here this one um, the other one is the title here uh, oops not title uh, we can provide uh, the border so you can see here now this is what is the border is coming so uh, you will have a border also you can uh, you can provide in the card so in that also if you want to increase the font uh, size of this total price you can go to the category and we can uh, change this font so for example i'll make a uh, yeah, little this much bigger and i will make a uh, uh, we can change the color as well so if you want to have a different color you can see here you can say uh, this is the total price similarly uh, if you want to uh, change if you want to add the total quantity let's say how many total uh, quantity uh, that we can show it here so i will add one more card here uh, you can see uh, I will uh, add one more card here and then uh, I have to format so if you'll see here uh, a red bar is coming you can see here so if I'll come down you can see the red bar is coming right so it shows me that these two are properly uh, for uh, aligned button and top also you can see here it is properly aligned if you do not see this a line is coming for example even I when I will move you can see here it is showing me uh, which is the center of the page so this alignment these are smart alignments if it is not coming for uh, your uh, report then you can go to file uh, option and settings then you can go to options and if you will actually scroll down there is report settings where you can see here display display smart guides when visuals are aligned so you make sure that this is checked so if it is checked then you will see that option here now once you add this um, uh, we will do the same thing for example i will put the quantity here and you can see here the quantity it is coming like this if, if you want to rename you can go here rename and you will say total quantity and uh, oops i will give a space over here so you can see now it is coming like this so you can again you can go and you can change the format uh, change this format all this again you have to go here you have to give the border all these things you have to do it here now imagine what I'll do is I will just copy this and I adjust it uh, control C and I will put control B so if you will see here now I can take directly and all my alignment color everything is same i will just go here i will uh, close this i will add let's say delivery charges so in this case if you'll see here now this color font border everything is coming as it is i just need to change uh, if i want to change something on the text for example in this case uh, i will go under rename i will say 
total delivery charges with space so you can see here it is saying total delivery charges now all these uh, things are properly aligned so make sure that whenever you are uh, using this card or something make sure that all three are aligned properly so that uh, it the report will looks uh, looks good here so this is how you can use the single um, uh, or the card that you can use um, now next uh, i want to show you how we can use this multi card so if you'll see here this multi row card this one is multi row card and in this we will see what are the fields that we want to display here for example in this case i wanted to see the total price so i'll put it here uh, you can see here total price is coming like this i wanted to see a total quantity so i'll uh, just drag it put it down to this one you can see here it is coming total quantity and uh, let's say delivery charges if you'll come here you can see here delivery charges is coming so i can simply make like this i will make this aligned and you can see here now this is all these things are coming now it is if you want to do some formatting you go, you can go here and you can actually change uh, the formatting here for example this data uh, uh, data label color so you can see here this color is changing if you want to make it little bigger in uh, size so you can make it to let's say i'll make it to 30 pix, uh, pixel like this and uh, similarly the font you can change for example in this case i will make this font as this one so you can see here and uh, the categories so the second one uh, you can see here the price obviously i want to make uh, the text little bit uh, bigger so 18 pixel you can see here i'll drag little bit more here and uh, i'll go to format again so in this case uh, um, so you can make it and the border so if you want to make the border you can see here now you have a border over here for uh, this multi row card what we can do uh, apart from this is uh, for example in this case if you look at then we have the total price uh, then uh, uh, the total quantity and, uh, and then the delivery charges so what we can add more here is if i'll select this one uh, let's say i will put uh, the city name here so if i will put the city name here uh, now look at uh, the report how it changed i will just drag it little bit you can see here the bangalore city is coming and for that the price is total price for bangalore is 1130 quantity is this much delivery charges is this much so each uh, city wise you can see here uh, we have all this information so this is quite important because if you want to really know your uh, uh, product sales based on the location then you can easily you can figure out from this visual that uh, for this city we have this this is the price that we can, we got this is the quantity that we delivered and this is the delivery charges that we collected from the customer as well so you, you we can easily get uh, this kind of uh, uh, information uh, uh, by using this multi row card not only city you can actually um, add everything on on this one for example the location or the customer name if you want to put you can see here based on the customer you will actually get the information so uh, this is a quite effective and uh, um, um, uh, it is a very straightforward way where you can categorically you can see um on the uh, on the uh, total sales or the quantity sales anything any 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 data you want to show you can show on this information here sometimes also we may need to put some filter on this for example um on this one uh, on this card if you'll see now the total price is this much or the total quantity is this much or the total delivery charges is this much what will happen if i want to check uh, what is the total price for let's say laptop sales or what is the total price for a particular company so those kind of filters we uh, uh, filters we can use it so what i can uh, do is i will just select all these things i'll just make little scroll here and uh, for example this total price i will copy this uh, card here i'll put uh, i'll paste it and i'll scroll it here to this one 
So now if you'll see here, uh, this is the total price that we are getting. But now we have to implement a logic over here or the filter over here where we want to see only sales for let's say the product name laptop. So I will drag a uh, this product name over here into this data fields and I will select only the desktop. So if you'll see now, if you'll see now the total price and I will just rename it the total price a and in the bracket i'll put let's say uh, desktop so now if you'll see here now this total price is for the desktop so this way you can also individually if you want to filter the cards we can individually filter uh, the card based on uh, uh, based on uh, the filter condition that you can add into over here. So remember this is a filter that we have added into this particular visual. So that's the reason it is coming here. So if you want to based on city, based on uh, the customer name, we can any filter you can put and you can add it here. So this is how we can work with uh, your card and uh, multi-row cards in Power BI.